Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel today. My name is Kosi. Just in case you're first time coming across this video, thank you so much for stopping by. Please do not forget to subscribe when you're done watching. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys on how to make this beautiful pencil gown with an open yoke neckline slash puffy sleeve. In our last tutorial, I already shared the pattern drafting. So if you're yet to see that, please kindly check my last video. Or better still, I'll leave a link in the description box of this video. So you go ahead and check it out. So this is the pattern drafting of our last tutorial do you get so in today's tutorial is going to be on how to seal this only do you get i advise you go back to watch the pattern drafting of this princess that boost here then after watching you can come back here and join us in today's tutorial so guys let's get started Now you can see they're already gone ahead to cut out the lining piece for the upper part, both the front and the back using my pattern paper Do you get. So I cut this out of camera for the sake of time. So I advise that you go ahead and watch pattern drafting. Then after watching, you come back here so you understand what is really going on here. Do you get. And you also understand what I'm saying. Do you get. Can you see. So I'm going to go ahead and start the sewing. So guys, you can see the way I'm placing my lining for the back piece. So go ahead and place yours like this. Then place the two sides. Actually, after placing, I'll show you guys on how to sew it. If you're making this um dress, please um make use of your estate. I ran out of estate, that's why I didn't iron my estate. So go ahead and iron your estate first before you can go ahead and do that. Right here, you're going to first of all sew the neckline, then the both side and the zipper side. So guys, right here, I'm done sewing and this is what I have. I also went ahead to iron it out. And you can see that it's very relaxed. Can you see? So after I was done, I'll just go ahead and trim off this um, excess lining here at the shoulder part like this. Then after that, I'll just keep this aside and I'll work on the front piece. You get. So right here, this is the front piece. You can see that I went ahead to, you know, Keep the lining for the front piece aside now. I'll just go ahead and join the three piece here before going ahead to make the lining. This is how you are going to join it. First of all, you're going to place this side here like this. Then from that down part, you can sew it half of an inch down to this upper part here. Do the same thing for the other side as well. Can you see? And after doing that, I'll do the same thing for the lining as well. Right here, guys, this is the upper part can you see how it's looking i've gone ahead to join it and i also went ahead to iron it out i also iron the seam opening can you see when you are ironing yours make sure you iron the seam opening i did the same thing for the lining now can you see how it's looking this is a soft lining i couldn't get the the thicker one do you get so this is the back i did the same thing i ironed the seam opening right now i am placing it on top of my main fabric that is placing it the right side fixing each other can you see then after i was done placing it very right like this what i'll do next is to go ahead and seal this hole around here and after i was done sewing this hole around here you can see that i'm notching it you get so go ahead and sew after sewing go ahead and notch yours you get then after you are done notching what i'm going to do is to flip it over so you're going to flip it over through this hole here that you're seeing you get you're not going to sew the the neckline just the hole alone so you can be able to you know flip it so right here guys you can see that um that i already flip it over and you can see how it's looking so right here i'm just going to use my i have a black bias i will use my black bias to pipe the neckline and after piping the neckline, I also go ahead and iron this hole here. And after ironing, I will seal the both side inside. Then I will be right back. So guys, right here you can see that I went ahead to um seal my to pipe the neckline, and I also seal the both side inside, just like I said. And I also went ahead to iron this hole. You can see now that is very relaxed. You get so this is the back go ahead and place it the right side facing each other on top of the um the front piece then right now what i want to do is to go ahead and join the shoulder you get so you're going to join the shoulder this way place them the right side facing each other 
use the back lining to cover it up just like you see me doing like this make sure you hold the four piece together go ahead and sew it it's half inch so you can see what i what i had after i was done you can see now the excess of you turning it up is with the lining is for it to be very neat you can see that mine is very neat there is no line showing there you can see how it's looking can you see so guys next thing i'm going to do right now is to first of all um hold this zipper area here like this i'm going to just hold it with my pin with one inch you get just go ahead and hold it with one inch for your zipper using your pin then after you are done doing this you are going to you know uh, make sure it's unfold like this for the back only can you see now i am going to go ahead and place my tape from the shoulder mark nine inches and also mark half of the nipple to nipple plus the one inch for the for the zipper then go ahead and make your dots after i was done making my dart guys this is what i have you can see that i have i'm done making my dart actually and i already went ahead to you know place them like this so right now i want to go ahead and know if i have the correct thing i'm supposed to have for the um armhole so right here i checked and I, it's not up to what i need so right here i'm just going to place it i marked seven inches then after marking seven inches here i will do the same thing here can you see after repeating the same thing here marking seven inches what i'll do next is to place my tape at the shoulder you can see what i did at the shoulder place your tape now what I, why i'm placing my tape here is to confirm if i have the exact shoulder circumference i placed it and i had the exact um, shoulder circumference right now i am going to go ahead and trim off the armhole just look at how i'm going to do that go ahead and trim it off just like this you get then you do the same thing here after doing the same thing here next thing to do is to also place your tape from the shoulder then measure the half length just to know if you have the exact um, half length if it's excess like mine just go ahead and trim it off you can see that that is excess so i'll just go ahead and trim it off from the back part can you see so guys after doing this you can see that everything now is very relaxed i repeat the same thing here i'll just um, remeasure the armhole and i have exactly what i need for the armhole i also measure the both side and i have exactly what i needed at the both side you can see now that everything is now equal very relaxed you can see how relaxed the armhole looks and uh, how relaxed everything is actually you can you see the back view this is how it's looking so guys this is the damp part the skirt part you know i cut this out of camera because i already done this on the channel several times so i wouldn't want to repeat myself again because of um time you get so right now just um, explain what i did what i did was that i removed the half length then i measured the the main length as in the full length of the gown plus two inches you can see then after that i measured the i divided the waist circumference by four did the same thing for the hip divided the hip circumference by four as well you can see the zipper allowance for the back which is one inch so i went ahead to you know see it with the lining and you can see the tone up there at the hem line now if you want to see how to make this particular damp part how to cut it out and how to turn it up with the lining i'm going to leave a link on the shambles so you go ahead and watch how to do this i have it so many so many on my channel do you get so this is the front view i already gonna here to iron this out you can see that it's very relaxed and it's looking so beautiful right now what i want to do is to go ahead and fold it by two like this then i'll just go ahead and do my that then after doing my that i'll go ahead and join the boot upper part right here guys you can see that i've gone ahead to join the boot upper part and this is the um, front view this is how it's looking you can see the that for the down part you can also see the front view like this is the back you can see that i did the same thing for the back joining it and doing the dots as well can you see so right here what i'll do next is to just um fold it the wrong side like this for the back part i'll go ahead and uh, hold it down with my pin after pinning down in place what i'll do next is to go ahead and mark where to fix my zipper 
and where to see the remaining space have left so guys from the back neckline what i'll do is to fix my zipper from there then i'll measure like eight inches from the half length there i'll just mark eight inches and after marking this eight inches i'm going to mark one inches down so i'm going to stop my zipper at that eight inches and i'll see the remaining space i have left you can see what i have here guys after um uh, fixing my zipper i went ahead to shape it for the sake of time i told you guys that this video is going to be a very quick one please okay then this is the sleeve for the sleeve length i had 15 inches long and for the wideness i have 20 inches for the wideness now after i was done measuring i felt like the 20 inches is a way too much big for the wideness so i said to reduce it with 1.5 inches just like you see me doing and after doing that i'll just trim here a little bit for it to be very straight can you see then after i was done doing this next thing to this remeasure and i have about 18 inches that is what i have so i'll just go ahead and make my curve for the sleeve you can see that it's very big this is because it's going to have plates at the shoulders but we are going to get there very soon then after i was done doing everything i will notch the center of the sleeve you get now what i'll do is to fold it like this i'll just fold it with half inch make sure that you fold it in a way that you can able to pass your elastic you get then after i was done this is what i have for the both sleeve after i was done doing this what i'll do next is to bring my elastic right now I'm just going to go ahead and start um fixing my elastic passing it through the folded part i made do you get just like this After passing your elastic for your boat sleeve, what you are going to do next is to fold your boat sleeve the wrong side, then go ahead and sew with one inch from your armhole side down to the end of your sleeve. Can you see? Then after you are done doing that, go ahead and make this plate on your dress armhole. Just make the plate like this. Then after making this plate, it's going to give you that puffy effect. Right now guys, you can see that I've gone ahead to join it on the dress. So you can see how it's looking. You can see how it's looking. I did this for the bow sleeve. And you can see the princess that um, there's no breast part and it's standing like this. So where you put on bra and where it's going to be lovely. Do you get So this is how it's going to look when we are done seeing yours. I'll just put it on my manicure. So guys, this is how it looks when I put it on my mannequin. This is how it's looking. You can see that it's looking so, so beautiful. This is how everything is looking. I went ahead to iron it out and it's looking so beautiful like this. So guys, this will be the end of our today's tutorial. Please, if you find this video very interesting and you love this video, please subscribe. Appreciate me by subscribing to this channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.